the show starts in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the live stream, guys and girls. How is everyone doing tonight? Good to see everybody up in the chat. Thank you guys for coming over and showing your love and support to CJ Farms. Whew. It was. It has been a long day. I've been up since 4.30 this morning. Uh, got an early start, recorded four videos, edited two of those. I've got two more to edit, so I've got two recorded for tomorrow, but I've got to edit them. So tomorrow on... Uh, over here, we'll be doing day eight of No Man's Land. And on Criminal Justice, I'll be doing a tutorial on the Police Academy playlist uh, in which we will be installing basic parking enforcement. Uh, and I also have not forgot that we do have the Open IV modifications full install tutorial coming up very soon, guys. I'm just trying to get my notes together on it. I've got a lot going on right now. Um, just joining the Giants uh, partner program ship. If you guys didn't hear about that, I am now officially a partner of Giants, uh, which is incredibly exciting, uh, you know, considering the circumstances that I, I, have, I have been working a long time to get where I am. And it, it's just exciting. It's so exciting to be working with one of the biggest game companies in the world and to be a partner with them is just absolutely amazing. Um, man, I'm telling you, man, I got up at 4.30 this morning, Paul, so I got up like, uh, I got up like 30 minutes after you were at work, I was awake at 4.30, man, I got up, I got, to, I woke up, I was actually still tired, I got to thinking about things I had to do today, and I'm just one of them people, man, when I open my eyes, if it's, if, no matter if it's 2 o'clock in the morning or 7 o'clock in the morning, if I open my eyes and I start thinking about things I gotta do, I am all of a sudden just wide awake. And it was just one of those days where I was like that, man. And so, I mean, nonetheless, man, it's always worth the the tire, the 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 exhaustion I go through and being tired. It's worth it because I know that now I'm going to sleep good tonight. When bedtime hits, man, I, I'm I'm out. I'm out. So, um, how's everyone doing, man? Mr. Paul G is up in the house. What's up, Paul? How you doing, man? Welcome to live stream, brother. Good to see you here as always, man. Nicholas Peel is also up in the house. How you doing, Nicholas? Dalton Mitchell and Blake. 223 is up in here. How you guys doing, man? Good to see y'all. Five Gen Farms right there. You are a new face. Welcome to the last stream, man. You might be over from the from the uh, Goham fam. Um, but nonetheless, man, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for being here. Um, we also have a other another new face, Greg Ellie. I think it's uh, uh, I'm just gonna call you Greg. I think it's uh, Elias. Is that how you say it? Me and my son, Cambo, are now new huge followers and just... Oh, thank you, Greg. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. And tell your son I said thank you as well. I really appreciate that. I love entertaining everybody, but I love entertaining the younger crowd as well, right? I love to entertain the younger crowd. I don't know why, but I just do. And, and the younger crowd, like, a majority of my audience is between the ages of, like... 15 to 34 right 15 to 34 35 something like that and i've got some i've also got some other great news let me finish getting to the names and i'll tell you guys the other great news i've got on cj farms uh but greg thank you for being here man you and your son both thank you guys for being here i appreciate you nonetheless man i appreciate you guys i really do game with cookies stopping by i know that he said that he had to um that he he i think he was going live as a matter of fact i think i've seen him go live yeah. Oh, he's playing the new Rainbow Six Siege. The new. Oh, it says he's trying it for the first time. Yo. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Cookie's playing some Rainbow Six. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, thank you, Five Gen Farms. I appreciate that, man. Are you a content creator? I just. I'm only asking because of your name. Um, Trevor Ryan Murphy. You're also a new face, man. Welcome to the live stream. Appreciate you being here, man. Let me get to the rest of these names. Gamer Benny also stopped by. Thank you, Gamer Benny. If you're still here, thank you for being here, man. If you're not in here, thank you anyway for stopping by. Uh, Brandon Walford, can I join? Well, I'm doing I'm doing single mode today. I'm, I, I'm thinking about setting up a server, though. I'm thinking about like actually renting a, dedic a dedicated server for CJ Farms 
so that the subscribers can come in and do some farming with me and we can I can record. I can record some content on a legit server. Um, you know, and, and we'll actually have a CJ Farms, uh, you know, farming server. So I, I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, if you guys are interested, please let me know. I'll put up a poll on um, the community tab and see what kind of votes I get on it. Uh, James Goins is also a new, ha uh, new face. Welcome to the stream, man. Really appreciate you, bro, being here. Really appreciate that. Brandon, thank you for being here as well, man. Um, but yes, I, I am doing single player tonight. Um, oh, was Benny's baby born? Did he, did they have their little boy? Did they really? Yo, man. Yo, is he still in here? Yo, Benny, if you're still in here, bro. Yo, congratulations, dude. A son. Yo, a son. If only. <laughs> I had all girls. <laughs> No, man, let me tell you something. I wouldn't trade my kids for nothing in the world, man. Congratulations to Gamer Benny on the new baby, man. I remember seeing pictures of him and his wife, and his wife being pregnant, man, and they were just, they were beautiful pictures of them both. You know, they, Benny and his and his wife, they, they just, I don't know, they just look so perfect together. They just look so perfect together. So 3 a.m. Saturday night that he was born, wow, man, that's amazing. I'll have to shoot him a message here in a little bit and, um, and and tell him congratulations. Always had the chair. Or is that a new one? I think. No, this is the new one. Uh, the wife got this in for me, Paul. This is actually, man. This thing will recline all the way back. It's got a footrest that comes out where you can put your feet on it. It's actually pretty cool, man. I I dig it. It's got a lumbar for your back, which I I use the time out of that. Um, it's actually made for this right here to just kick, kind of kind of sit back. But when I sit back, I feel like I have a beer gut. Even though I don't have a beer gut, I feel like I have a beer gut when I sit back. So <laughs> I try to avoid that part of it. Uh, but guys, we're going to go ahead and switch the cameras over here. Let me um, let me refresh the chat as I always do. And let me um, switch the camera. The I'm sorry, the cameras. The scenes. CJ, get it together, man. The scenes. Let's switch the scenes over. And now we can get our camera and our counter on right there. We are going to be... On, um, God, what is the name of this farm again? Jesus. What farm? Am I? The construction map. Sorry, guys. The construction map. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head who made this map, but I will tell you this. It's a cool map. It's a cool map. I think it's a cool map for those who want to do some small farming, but I will say it about this, and, um, DJ was talking about this on the farm sim show um what happened was the person that made this farm right they did a good job they did they did a good job it's just that you can tell by looking at the farm that they're a first time modder right so what they what the modder pretty much did was and i'll pop up here for you guys and let you see what i'm talking about if anybody knows elm creek well enough you will know that the edge of this map is Elm Creek. So what he pretty much did, and no hate against the guy. Like, I love the map. It's got six fields that I've got prepped and ready. Uh, we've got corn growing on all six fields, which took me three days to do. Um, on six fields, it took me three days to prep them. That counts mulching, um, plowing, uh, liming, cultivating, fertilizing, planting, fertilizing, you know, growth, you know, all that stuff. So it took me about, it took me about three days to do six fields. Um, but the guy that done this map, no hate against him because it's a beautiful map and I enjoy it. I, <clears throat> I, I truly enjoy it. Um, I might be on this week, Nicholas. I might be on this week. Um, but what he did was he took Elm Creek and he deleted everything off the map and he flattened the, He flattened it because it's all flat ground. There's no unlevel ground on this property. Now, there is a little bit of unlevel ground that I have found, and I'm in flight mode right now, guys, just in case you're wondering. This is called flight mode where you can you can go up and go down. This is how I get my thumbnails, right? I will go... Oh, I hope my camera didn't just freeze because I heard that little ding in my ear. Um, but this is how I get my thumbnails in flight mode. I'll go up, I'll turn my HUD off, and before you know it, bam, you've got a nice little thumbnail, right? you got a nice little thumbnail. But that's what he did. He just deleted everything kind of squeeze the the factories in together and just flatten the map so it's pretty much a smaller version of elm creek and a flat version of elm creek but <clears throat> 
it's an awesome, it's a, it's it's a nice map nonetheless. So let's go ahead and get on with this, guys. Let's get out of flight mode, and I'm gonna show you guys around the farm here a little bit as to what I've added. I've added these right here, and I need I need to get my <clears throat> I need to turn my icons back on. I didn't turn those back on. Let me turn those back on. We do not have seasons on yet. I do need to check it though real quick to see when we can harvest our corn. Um, we can harvest corn in uh, October through. From the beginning of October through the end of November, we can harvest our corn. Okay, so let's go ahead and deactivate our seasons again. I'm going to go ahead and do a save. And um, I think that's it. Uh, but I do have these installed. These are pretty cool. Now, when you buy these and you put them down, uh, what you do is you walk into these little gears. You click on it, and you buy the seeds that you want, right? So I can go like this. And it's going to fill my seeds up. I meant to knock my money down, not have as much money, because what's the point of playing if you're going to have that much money? It, it is what it is. But it's the same with everything, right? You can buy the fertilizer for it right there. So you can completely fill these things up and then come back and get what you need. There's no more storage. See, this one's completely full. Let me slow my guy down. He's running like he's on crack. See, I've got, and that's herbicide. Um, now, this right here is a multi-fruit silo. This, this mod is made by A2 Studios who, let me remind you, is a huge um, name around the modding community, 82 Studios is. 82 Studios was the guys, if you guys remember the red tow truck that I built for Jeffrey Gamer in FS19, and I pulled that truck out of the mud in that episode, that's 82 Studios' work. He's the guy that done those XLR trucks, uh, or the XL trucks. Um, but this is pretty much the farm right here. This is one of our sheds where all of our equipment's parked. Um, this is another one of our sheds here is our, our farm silo. Um, we have, uh, we have field one right out here along with field six and everything is planted with corn because corn pays the most, right? So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to go over here. I'm going to show you guys that they finally implemented. Somebody made a garden mod for FS 22 and it's absolutely amazing. The only thing you have to apply to this garden to make it grow is water and I think that's super cool that somebody did that because I was talking about that on the stream last week right about I wish somebody would put a would implement a garden into FS 22 and lo and behold after the stream that night I went to the website uh, the mod hub website and somebody had built a garden mod I was so excited I was so excited man uh, but you can find this on the FS 22 modding website uh, the FS22 Mod Hub is linked down below in my description. Guys, also, do not forget that me being a partner of Giants, if you guys want to get your hands on some awesome Giant software gear and you want to help support the CJ Farms YouTube channel, be sure to check out those links below with the blue diamonds beside them. Click those links. Get yourself some awesome Giant software gear, games, DLCs, etc., whatever it is that you want in those links. Use my code name. And not only will you get some awesome Giants gear, but you will also help benefit the CJ Farms channel for better and more content for you guys, for the fellow farmers. So with that being said, uh, let me go ahead and hop down here. And we're going to go over and what we're going to do is I'm going to use my magic button. I call this my magic button because it makes the plants grow like that. Now, the downside to this is that... I don't want the plants to grow and wither before I get to harvest season. Um, actually, I think we can harvest as long as seasons are off. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to do this. I'm going to hold down my magic key. And the corn should grow before our eyes. There it goes. And it's going to grow all around us in all, all six fields. It's going to grow. And you'll see it say growing here. And then it'll go from growing to harvesting. Uh, we probably need to do another layer. No, we don't. It's 100% fertilized. I'm going to say another, another layer of uh, fertilizer, but it's all good. Okay? So now you can see the corn's a little taller. This is called Grow Now, a mod called Grow Now. I was so glad to see that mod pop into the mod hub. I was so glad to see it because it just... Farmer Z, what is up, man? You are definitely new here, man. Welcome to stream. Appreciate you being here, man. Appreciate you being here. Welcome, man. A new fellow farmer to, to the CJ Farms community right there. My week off was good, Nicholas. Thank you for asking. It was great, man. The screenshots that you guys seen uh, in my in my screenshot slideshow that I was showing you guys uh, in the starting soon screen. 
Um, that's some of the stuff that I did during my time off. I, I played farm sim. That's all I did was play farm sim. Didn't play LSPFR one time. Maybe once. I think I was in there for like a few minutes. But other than that, um, I played farm sim the whole time. Uh, did that. Play, I, I hung out. Okay, now it's ready to harvest. So, now what we have to do and hope and pray for is that we can harvest even in September. As long as season's off, I believe we can do that. Guys, you've got to check out this header we've got, that I've got. It's 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 pretty amazing. Now, this is not the corn header. I don't even know if I have a corn header. Do I? Do I have a corn header? I do not. So, check this out, guys. You guys have got to check out this header. Look how big this header is, guys. Look at that thing. Now, this is for, like, canola, barley, wheat, oil seed radish, stuff like that. But look at this huge header I found, guys. It's a mod from the FS22 Mod Hub. And when you put it down, it gets even wider. Look at that. You talking about getting a field done in no time at all, man. That's This harvester, along with the real speed limit mod, man, your fields are done like that. Now, I wish they had a corn header like this, but I have not found one yet. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fold this back up. Well, it's going to go back out when I... When I well, maybe not. There we go. I'll just drop it like that. All right, so what we got to do is I don't think we have a corn header. Let me check, but I'm pretty sure we don't. Um, let me see. Yeah, we do not have a corn header, so we're going to have to hop out. Uh, I'm going to go right over here, and I'm going to use my store delivery mod, which I love. I love the store delivery mod, and we're going to mark it right there. And we're going to have to get us a corn header. But I think they have a corn header. Those hips? Yeah, man. Do you, Blake? Yeah, I like those call-outs too, man. Yeah. Um, but JoJo does good stuff, man. But attempt to come call-outs and simple call-outs are, are, is good stuff. By the way, guys, if you haven't heard, CompuLite did update uh, the other day. Um, Mexican uh, messaged me. Okay, Paul. All right, man. And energy drinks. <laughs> okay, man. All right, dude. Uh, so I want to get a pretty good size header here. Um, we got a nine meter. I like the ones that unfold. I love those. I don't know why I love those so much, and I don't have any in the game. All I've got is this. the The biggest one we've got is this twelve meter John Deere, which the only thing I don't. I mean, we we can't change the color, which is not a big deal. Uh, do we have another twelve meter that we can like? We have a ten meter. Can we change the color on this? Nope. Nope. We can't. So we're going to use the John Deere uh, C16F. We're going to use this one. And let's back out. But I appreciate you guys being here. Oh, that one does fold up. Look at that. It folds up. I like it. I like it. I like it, man. All right. So let's go ahead and... Now, for those that heard me mention the real speed limit mod, what it does is it allows your vehicle to work... It allows your vehicle to work at the speed of the vehicle, right? So, like, you know how when you turn on your harvester and you start harvesting and it slows the vehicle down? Real speed limit will actually allow you to work at the normal speed of your vehicle. As though you're not, you don't have your harvester on, right? All right, let's head on out to, um, let's head on out to field one here or wherever we're going. We're going to start with field one. Let's go ahead and unfold this bad boy. All right, let's go ahead and now I do want to make sure I don't think you can do straw, straw swath mode in this, but I always want to make sure it's disabled. And I'm like that because in FS19, we had a mod where you can do straw swath on any crop. Even if it was like oats, uh, corn, you could do corn bales. It, it was it was really awesome. I loved that mod. I wish they would implement. I'm waiting on them to implement the, the follow me mod into FS22. I, I see it on FS22 Mod Hub all the time where it says, coming soon, follow me mod. I'm just waiting on it to drop, man. When it does, I'm going to do a tour on it for you guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and here we go. Now, I'm going to show you guys how the vehicle runs before you activate real speed limit. So this is the normal speed of your vehicle, right? When you're when you're when you're working, right? But when you activate that real speed limit, this is what happens. 
See how it's going to zip through that corn real quick? It's going to go through it like there's no tomorrow, right? And you get the job done a lot faster, right? It's so cool. I love it. So we'll do a couple rows of this and then we'll get a work on it. I'm gonna go grab the tractor and the trailer and bring it out. But y'all see, do they strike? They got one out of Follow Me Mom. Karma Comment Chameleon, what is up? Hey, you're new around here. Welcome to stream. appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here, appreciate that. How you doing, Karma? Um, Blake, I want to say yes. I want to say it is. It might be a PC exclusive. Don't hold me to that. Are you? Do you play on console, Blake? Is it nice, Carm? I'm glad to hear that. I'm doing. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. It's. It, it, it's been a pretty good day here, um, as far as weather goes. Um, it, it's been a little bit on the chilly side. It's colder than a witch's teddy here, but it's. <laughs> It's still nice weather, though. I appreciate you being here, Carmen. Thank you for showing up. Uh, but the weather's been good, you know. Uh, it, it's just a little nippy outside, so. But, uh, Blake, what I was saying is... Yeah. Oh, was he talking about the... Okay. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, Jake, you're talking about the, the straw swath. Okay, I got, I got you. I'm dumb sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, so Blake, back to what you were saying. I I don't I don't want to tell you wrong about the real speed limit mod. Um, do you play on console? Is that why you're asking? I mean, I have the game on console as well. I just haven't looked. The only time I go on console really is to see what mods are for console only and what aren't. So, but now I have a mod, a website I can go to for that. So, but I've played the game on console a couple times. It's actually pretty awesome on console. Right, so we're gonna go ahead. Oh, get over, get over, get over. Get that. Yeah, see, I'm running. I'm gonna run a little crooked. I'm gonna finish this row and then I'm gonna hand it over to a worker so he can get fired for missing something. <laughs> Is it Drake? I think it might be, yeah. I think it might be. Oh, 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 don't hit the tree, don't hit the tree, don't hit the tree. We got almost a full harvester already, man. Maybe we can kind of straighten it out here. Let's get a screenshot, man. Yeah, we got we got we got a full harvester now, so. Alright, I'm gonna go grab the, the tractor and try. I'm gonna leave that right here. I do have the uh, manual combine discharge where you have to push the key to discharge the crop out. I love that. I love that mod, man. I love it. It just makes it seem more realistic to me. You know what I mean? Oh, yo, I didn't know that. Look, the back of my tractor sticking out, guys. Look. <laughs> I didn't know you could customize your tractors in here. Oh, I didn't know that about this. That's pretty cool. And there's, uh, do we have lights in the barn? I think you got to turn them on from the other side, like from in here. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and open this door. And then over on this side, we got a few tools. We got our cultivator, we got our lime spreader, our fertilizer spreader, we got two rollers. That's what it took, guys, to get these fields done pretty quick. I was trying to get it done in time to live stream for you guys tonight, so I'm glad I got it done. Uh, let's take the, uh, woo, let's take that big fin. That caught my eye immediately. CJ Farms, the name is familiar, is it? Is it? Well, I have a main channel. I have a main channel under Criminal Justice where uh, I have, yeah, I have, I've been, I mean, I've only had this channel for about uh, a little over a year. Oh, the other good news I wanted to tell you guys about the channel. Um, I've had this channel for a little over a year, and we did hit 4,007 watch hours today, guys. We hit the monetization level over here uh, in watch hours. We are at 4,007 watch hours. I've already verified, set up my AdSense account, I'm just waiting 
to hear back from YouTube for them to verify my monetization. Then we can set up super chats. We can set up memberships for you guys. And of course, I'm a man of my word. I will create CJ merch. I will do CJ merch for you guys. Yeah, man. It's exciting, man. It's exciting. Right, let's see. Are we... Where are we at anyway? Oh, yeah. We're... Are we out here? Yeah, we are. We're at Phil Warren. What am I doing? I don't even have my trailer. Oh, my God. I cannot get my brain together, man. I think I think I remember watching that channel, Canadian Rob. Yeah, I think I remember watching that a couple of times. Uh, Karma, yeah, I think I remember watching that. That name really rings a bell. Please tell me I have a... I know I've got a, a trailer because I, I had to harvest the first day here. So I know I've got a trailer. It's got to be in here. There she blows. There she blows. Let's go ahead. No, no, we got the big John Deere Cedar going on, guys. Is that the only door back there? I think, I think, I think it is. We got one more here. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and grab our trailer, though. We're going to grab our trailer here. I like these big roll-off trailers, but I love them because they hold, they hold so much, man. They hold so much harvest. All right, let's do it, man. Yeah, definitely, man. If you're going to get the game, FS22 Blake, definitely on PC, bro. Definitely. Oh, was that you, Karma? Really? What happened? Do you still have the channel or no? Or did you just... Just kind of not... Wait a minute. Let me... Hold up. One sec, guys. Sorry about that. Oh, yo. Oh, that's you. Yo, I'm going to subscribe to you right now. Guys, if you have not checked out Karma Comment Chameleon, go over and show them some love. Um, I'm going to drop the link to their channel in the chat. And I'm going to pin it. I'm going to pin this. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. I got to get my, my brain together if I can ever do it. There we go. Yeah, guys. Go over and, and, and check out Karma and show them some love. Um, oh, okay. I, like I said, I'm dumb sometimes, Karma. No, hey, but I subscribe to you. Do Reddit stories? Really? Cool. I love the Reddit stories. I, I, I love Reddit. Malicious compliance. Pro revenge compilation. Yo, you got some. Your views are popping. You got 108,000 subscribers. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, my main channel, I just hit 26K. Uh, I don't know. A week ago. Something like that. So... I'm hoping by the end of this year, I'm at that 100K because uh, I'm so excited about hitting that number. Plus, I really want that YouTube plaque. I really want that YouTube plaque. So, But I'm glad to have you in here, Carl. I'm so glad to have you in here. It's good to have you here. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll keep up with your channel for sure. I will definitely uh, I subscribe with Bell on. So I'll be I'll be keeping up with your channel. I'll subscribe to you from my from my main channel as well. Yeah, I definitely will. I definitely will. Michael Filavana, what is up, man? You are new. You are new, Michael. I don't think I've seen you here before. Welcome to the live stream, man. Welcome to the live stream. Build a shrine to the play button like I did. <laughs> I, hey, Greg, I hope so, man. I'm telling you, I, I, I really want, like, you know, when you start YouTube, when you first start out, right, and you have zero subscribers, 
you know, and every content creator has been there. It's not like we start with thousands of subs, right? We have to start from the bottom of the tree and work our way up till we get to the top of the branch just like everybody else does. I'm not sure why my game is lagging like this. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but, you know, to reach that, you know, when we first start out, we, we, ta we can taste the subscribers, right? We want that first 100 so bad that we can taste it. Then we want the 500. Then we want the 1,000. Then the 5,000. 10,000. And the 20. And then we want that 100K. And that's kind of where I'm at right now with that is that I want those subscribers so bad that count that I can I can taste it, man. I, you know, I try to put out really legit content. Let's get a worker on this. Um, I try to put out legit content. I try to do my editing real nice and neat. Um, you know, and I try to always throw in something new uh, when I edit. Um, and when I'm doing videos, let alone, you know, above all else, just doing videos, you know, a little differently each time. So, um, but man, I, I tell you, man just just doing this man is like it's an honor because what like I've said so many times one of the greatest things that there is about doing this is you could talk to people all over the world I've talked to people in Russia China Japan Iceland the Netherlands I have talked to people literally all over the world and it's amazing hey what's up scroft is up in the chat what is up my dude just thought I'd stop in and say congrats again on getting partnered with Giants. It's late here in the UK, so I'll be off again soon. Keep up the great work. Hey, you too, man. You too, Scroft. Guys, if you have not, man, go check out Scroft here on YouTube. He does a lot of great farming simulator uh, content, a lot of tutorials. Um, I have learned a lot from watching Scroft. Um, the tutorial I did on how to maximize your yield, that's how I learned it was from that man right there. Guys, go check out Scroft and show him some love. What's up, Scroft? How you doing, man? Hey, man, get you some good sleep, man. You deserve it, brother. I know you work hard on that channel, man. Man, dude, you post every day, my dude. Like, nearly every day you are posting, man. You are posting every day, man. But I hope get you get you a good night's sleep, man. I hope you do. You know what? We need two harvesters for this, man. We're going to have to have two harvesters. Let's go ahead and let's go over here. Wouldn't that be great just have money like this where you can just purchase whatever you want? Just like, oh, I want this. Let's just get that. I don't know. I'm not a real materialistic guy. Um, if I ever had a lot of money in my life, I, I would do. I would. I would do what needs to be done. I'd get a house for me and the, the wife and the kids, pay everything off, and you know, live comfortably. That's what I would do. I, I'm not gonna spend it foolishly and go broke in a day because you know, even a, even anyone who has a million dollars, who can't spend a million dollars in a day, right? Anybody could do it. But if you take that million dollars and you spend it right and you put it like, say, like into stocks or whatever it is or savings and let it build interest, you can live off that, man, for the rest of your life if you know how to do it. You know, you just got to know how to do it, man. Hey, what's up, Hero 1K1 is up in the house. What's up, Hero? How you doing, man? Robert Boucher up in the house. You're a new face, man. First time watching your streams. I've seen you on the Farm Sim Show. Definitely, I decided to watch Friday. You seem like a real layback dude. Definitely looking forward to watch your channel. Growth. Hey, thank you, Robert. I appreciate that, man. I comments like that puts puts a smile on my face. I love those uh, those generous, uh, uplifting comments, man. Thank you, Robert. I appreciate that, man. I really do. Thank you so much. Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I I, I imagine once you get to that. 100k or maybe like fifth maybe anywhere between 50 and 100k that's when it really starts getting beautiful right karma because you know i i've i i know by watching analytics and stuff and and just kind of configuring things up you know how it's going to be from this time to that time to when i get to these numbers and that number so you know i i want to be and you know the main thing about me guys and you know i've said this so many times is that one of the number one reasons I started my main channel and started YouTube in general was because when I got to a point to where I could help others grow that were just starting out or maybe needed some help, um, I would do that. And that's exactly that's exactly what I do. And I can imagine the feeling that it's going to be when I get to that 100K, not because I've reached 100K, but because when I go into someone's chat and I tell the subscribers, hey, go sub to this person, man. Go check them out. Show them some love. 
you know, it's going to be like a whirlwind coming in. And and I just want, if I can make somebody's day by doing that, man, I, I've done my job. You know what I'm saying? I have done my duty for the day. And that's all I want to do is just help other people grow. That's the reason why I started YouTube, man. That's the reason I started. Richard Pryor had to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Man, oh, Richard Pryor, man, I love watching, man. That dude, man, oh my God, there was not a moment in time that I, that when I was watching that guy that I wasn't laughing hard, like genuinely laughing hard. So, man, it's, but, you know, guys, I, I just, I just want to help people. I want to help people so much, and, and it's like, I feel like that's my calling, I guess, um, is to, is to help others, and even if it means sending somebody three subscribers, 30 subscribers, 300 subscribers, 3,000, whatever it may be. If I can make that person happy and just by boosting their motivation a little bit by doing something like that, then 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 I love doing that. That's why you guys catch me sometimes. I'll do little vlogs and I'll catch someone live and I'll be like, hey guys, go over and go over and raid this person. Go raid this person. You know, it, it's it's just part of it's just part of who I am, I guess, you know. But I think wanting to help others grow is a good thing because, you, I, you know, we all know as the content creators, we all know how hard it is to make it on YouTube, right? It's rough. It's rough when you're up and coming. It's really rough. It, it really is. He is, Dre. Richard was one of the best, man. He was. He truly was. Let's just learn more and more. No, don't you start on that field. Don't you start on that field. Don't you start on that field. Just learn more. It does. It does. And you know, still to this day, man, I will watch tutorials. Like I was talking about Scroth, man. Uh, when I need tutorials and I'm not sure about a mod and I want to do a tutorial on it, I'll either go watch, I'm not going to lie, I either watch Farmer Cop or I watch Scroth. One of the two, right? And, and they've always got the tutorials that I need, and they always explain it the way I need them to explain it. Now, now, granted, Farmer Cop, and he'll tell you this himself, he does talk a little fast, right? He was saying that one of his tutorials that I was watching today. Um, but, uh, but he still explains it well. Um, Scroft explains it in deep, deep detail, and he takes his time with it. And, you know, he teaches it like, like you're new which is how we're supposed to do it, right? We teach everybody like they're new because if you're teaching like you're like they're new every time, everyone will understand it. So, um, so again, man, big shout out to Scroft, man, uh, for everything you do for the FS community, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to growing with you, brother. I'm looking forward to growing with you, man. Um, hey, there's my cousin, the JDB is up in the house. There's my boy, Jason, right there. My blood family right there, man. What's up, Jason? How you doing, man? Good to see you up in the live stream, dude. Hey, Crossy's up in the house. Sup, Sang? Hey, hey, what's up, Paul? You, did you get your uh, Did you get your smokes and your energy drinks? What do you drink for energy drinks, Paul? You drink uh, Red Bull or something? I know you said you were getting energy drinks. All right, let's go ahead and get a worker back on that. Um, it won't be long. We'll have to haul this. I need to check something real quick, guys. Let's fly over this way. I did want to show you guys my ridiculous beehives. Now, bear in mind... Um, I was drunk when I did this, okay? I'm just kidding, guys. I don't drink. You guys know I don't drink. I'm only kidding. Uh, this beehive is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But um, I put this here, and I put a lot of beehives because honey sells for good. It sells for pretty decent. Um, but the one thing I have not put on the farm yet that we will do today or tonight is I'm going to put chickens on the farm. We're going to do some chickens, man. Um we have one honey pallet. Now, this is the new mod they just come out with that expands the honey pallets where you can have, like, more honey pallets within the uh, honey spawner right there. So, it actually works out. Is that off level a little bit to me, or is that just my eyes playing tricks on me? I don't know. But my, my beehives are absolutely ridiculous, man. And he drinks is rain and cigs on Marlboro Smith. I used to, I used to, ooh, I used to smoke Marlboro Smooths, man. I used to smoke those, bro. I used to, I do L&Ms now. It has been a minute, Jason. It's been a minute, man. You still working hard, brother? Uh, 
for tools just to help out. I know I need a lot of help when I first started. Good thing. Oh, thank you, Blake. I appreciate that, man. Hey, man, nothing wrong with doing tutorials, man. I'm telling you, man, tutorials is where it's at. And that's why so many people were... What was I looking for? I forgot. Oh, so tutorials is where it's at, man. So these are our sell points. All right, so I just wanted to double check to make sure we had the proper sell points here. And I want to make sure we own this. We have to own it to use it. All right, so we own it now. We own it now. And this right here, we also have to own this. Come on, man. All right, we own that now. All right, we're good to go. That's all I need to check out. Where did my harvester go? Oh, he's right there. Okay, we're gonna get we're gonna get two harvesters rolling here. Camel Crush Mentho. Oh, I love the Camel Camel Crushes, bro. I love them. Drinks that alternate between Red Bull, Monster Nos, and Rockstar. Probably Red Bull the most. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people drink the Red Bull, man. They do. They do. I, I'm telling you, man. I love my Nos. Nos used to sponsor me. Woo! <laughs> I drink them faithfully. <laughs> oh, is it Jason? Yeah, I hear you, man. I hear you, bro. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're not working for them no more now? I hear you, dude. Yeah. But you know, man, we were going to buy a harvester, were we not? Didn't I say something about buying a second harvester? Let's go ahead and mark our spot right here on the map. There we go. And let's get us a harvester. We're going to get the big boy here. Uh, we want... I, and I'm, I'm in the process of learning how to use the GPS mod, guys. And once I learn fully and understand it, I will do a tutorial on it. Oh, see, I like that setup, man. Where's that big setup? There it is. It costs... Okay, what's the maximum horsepower? 647. Uh, we want to do Michelin tires. And that'll do it. Now we just got to get another corn header. And we'll just buy the same one that we have now. And we need to go ahead and get another... Um, crop header too. Um, well... Wheat header is what I call them. And this is the one I buy right here, guys. This is the one that stretches out like yay long. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and we're going to hop into this harvester here. We're going to get him unfolded, get him started up, get him going. Yeah, Crossy, that was a big burp, man. Hey, that was a half a can of NOS, bro. That was a half a can of NOS down the chute. <laughs> it was, man. I'm telling you. Let me catch up to chat here for a minute. That's right. That's right, Crossy. It is. It is a party smoke. It is. Matthew Coleman, what is up, dude? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Appreciate you stopping by, Matthew. All right, guys. Love watching these harvesters unfold, man. I love it. All right, so we're going to get him on one field. Uh, let's see. We'll put him on this field down here. We'll put that guy on that field. As a matter of fact, while we're here, let's go ahead and grab this guy here. And let's get him going on... The other field. So we're going to get him started on this one. And we'll get the other guy started on the other one. Now he's got almost a full harvester. So we will uh, probably be coming back over this way soon with the, with the, with the tractor and the trailer. All right, let's get him on that. There he goes. And let's speed it up here a little bit. 
And now we're going to take him over to... You guys see all them little blue dots on my map right there? That's my beehives. <laughs> They're so ridiculous. They're so ridiculous. We'll go ahead and grab field six here. Yeah, man. There's a lot of peeps up in here tonight, man. We got a, we got a good crowd tonight, man. For another job now, so maybe I can have two days off instead of seven days a week. Two weeks off all together in the last... Man, I'm telling you, man, bro, we all need time off, Jason. I'm telling you, look, um, I just took a week off from, from, from work myself here. And before that, I honestly could not tell you the last time I just took a solid week or even just a solid day off from everything. And last week was probably one of the most exciting and toughest weeks for me because it was exciting because I got to sit back, relax, and chill. I didn't have to record, didn't have to edit, nothing like that. But at the same time, I was missing you guys. I was missing it, man, so bad. I was really missing. I got to unlock his speed limit too, so he can speed it up a little. All right, get him going. Let's go ahead and grab this tractor. We're gonna we're gonna need this a lot here in the next few minutes. And my boy is scooting down the field. <clears throat> but you know, it's like. <clears throat> I, I, I was enjoying my time off, I was. But I missed you guys, I missed recording. It was killing me not to record, it was killing me. And the live streaming, I was like, uh, it, man, it was driving me nuts, man. So we got we got a full harvester down here, but I did enjoy my time off. Yeah, I got to spend some time with, with the wife, got to spend some time with the family, so. That's, that's always therapeutic. Oh, can I fit under the pot? Can I get under there from this, from the side of this tree? Can I get under there? If I can, he'll automatically, um, he'll automatically drop, drop that into the back of my. Oh man, I'm am I? Oh, I'm hitting the header. I'm hitting the header. Can I? Man, come on! I know I can do this. I know I can get under that pipe, man. I might have to go forward and back up. Oh, we got 76% corn in the trailer right now. So, what we're gonna, oh my gosh, I cannot drive. Come on, CJ. It's a good thing my crop destruction is off because I'd really be destroying my crop right now. All right, we're gonna back right up under that pipe. There we go, we got it. Hey, thank you, Blake, I appreciate that, man. Thank you, I appreciate that. And for those, hey, what's up, Martin? How you doing, man? FD Gamer 1200 Martin up in the house. Hey, thank you, man. Appreciate that, bro. For those that didn't hear, um, I, I got partnered with Giants, and we hit 4,007 watch hours on CJ Farm. So we are at, ah, uh, dude, you did not just miss that, bro. No, 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 you're done, you're done, you're done. You're fired! You are fired. Get off my farm and don't you ever come back. You must stand tall before the harvest. <laughs> I'm only saying that with it now because Chris said that. He's fired for real. That dude is fired. You can't come to my farm skipping stuff like that, man. You can't be no skipper out here, sang. Hey man, nothing. There's nothing wrong with the older content, um, Greg. There's nothing wrong with it, man. I'm telling you, man. Some of them old school videos, man, will will teach you so much. It will teach you so much, man. I need to cut some of these trees down. I got a chainsaw and and a truck that's supposed to be a law, an auto load log, but it doesn't work very good with these. And I think it's just the trees, these type of trees that it doesn't work very good with. All right, there we go. We harvest the corn. Man, I meant to break out my steering wheel and, pan and control panel again tonight, and I didn't do it. Gosh darn it, I wanted to do it because I was going to have a camera on the control. I was going to have a camera on me, and I was going to have my second webcam on my pin to my shirt where you guys could see what I was doing, right? Man, like, yo, man, why can I not remember to do stuff like that? I want to do it so bad. 
It is. It is, Drake. That the, I, the Roland Pack is one of my favorite. Um, is one of my favorite packs, man. And if you install the the pallet auto load mo the pallet auto load mod, your Roland trailers become auto load. If you were here last week, Drake, when we loaded up all the bells and it was all auto load, that was the Roland Pack too. I think you were here last week, right? Oh, I didn't stream last week. Da, 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 da. The week before that. Hey, it, it has flew by, Paul. It's, you know, man, I'll go back to my old videos and stuff. A lot of times I'll go through my comments. There is so many comments I've never even answered because I haven't seen them, right? Because YouTube doesn't notify me anymore because I, I get so many comments on a daily. Um, I can't tell you the last time I got a notification for, for a comment, man. If I don't... The way I do it is... We might have to get another trailer out here, man. The way I do it is when I, when I upload a video, right? I'll hang around that video for about an hour or so and answer comments. After that, I'm usually gone from the video. But because YouTube just doesn't notify me anymore, they will not... They, they, they just don't. So... Um, but man, yeah, three years, Paul, what I was saying is, is I still see comments, man, from you, from Jeffrey, from, e I've even seen comments from Drake, man, um, from older videos of mine from like a year and two years ago, you know, even three years ago with you guys on there, comment, vi comments I never seen. And you know what? There's times I'll still respond to them. And I don't know if you see them or not, but sometimes you'll see them. So Oh, we're full, man. We are food. So we got to go and take this to the um, silo. I don't know why I'm going around. I don't have crop destruction. I mean, I mean, literally, we, we can we can we can ride the corn like this, and it's not going to do anything. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to do anything because I got now. If I had crop destruction on. Has anybody ever played with crop destruction on? It's like, it's, man, it tears your crop to bits. Like, it literally just tears the crap out of it, man. It's so bad. Guys, and listen, if you haven't already, man, go check out Hero1K1 here on YouTube. He's got some really awesome content. And if you want to see someone make a ped ride the lightning like no other hero 1k1 is your guy nobody can make a ped ride the lightning like hero and i love i love hero's description um because he's got um he's got my mentor and then he's got my channel link and then he's got jeffrey's channel link underneath that um I, I can't remember what you said for Jeffrey. I think it was like my favorite gamer or something like that. And then the one below that is my favorite farmer, and it's my CJ Farm channel. So I love your description, dude. Hey, JT, the Philly games are up in the house. Keep it a gangster, baby. Keep it a gangster. What's up, JT? How you doing, man? All right, let's see how much we got in our corn si in our uh, farm silo so far. So we got 52,000 liters of sorghum. Um, 31,000 liters of canola, 28,000 liters of oats, 9,000 liters of, of soybean, and now 45,000 liters of corn. So yeah, guys, I did some work on the farm before I live streamed it. Uh, let's go ahead out here and let's grab that. But these rolling pack, man, this rolling pack is, is absolutely awesome for, um, stuff like this, man. I love the rolling pack. All right, let's head back out this way. There's my auto load log trailer right there, guys. So as long as seasons is off, man, you can harvest it. That's that's awesome. I love that they do that. The only thing it won't let you do is plant. So if if you can harvest your 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 you can harvest your crop in any season you want as long as seasons off, but um. The only thing you can't do is plant. You have to plant a certain time of the year, right? So if I turn on my seasons for you guys, 
and I go to my season's calendar, the, the harvesting I can do whenever I want as long as my season's are off, right? But the planning has to be on that specific on, in that specific month, no matter if seasons is on or off. And it's really weird how it works. Now, I might be wrong about that, for, but from what I've seen, um, but I've installed a few months since then, so it might have changed the game a little bit for me. Now, if you guys will notice, my season's calendar is different than the in, than the base game season's calendar. This is actually a Canadian season's calendar. Uh, I think West Canadian, West Canada, um, a Western Canadian season's calendar is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Jesus. Um, but my, I love this one because you can plant everything in the spring pretty much, right? And harvest almost everything in the fall. And I love it like that because that's the way it's supposed to be. That's the way it's supposed to be. Let me turn them seasons back off because I don't want it to affect anything I'm doing. There we go. All right, let's pull up under this harvester. And I'm going to have to get him and back him up because he's going to end up missing, um, all this stuff here if I don't grab him. I'm doing good, JT. I'm doing good, brother. I'm doing really good, man. I'm glad to see you here, man. I am glad to see you here. Guys, look at how real the corn looks in this. Look at that. It looks so real in FS22, man. Look at the steam, like the dust rolling off the corn, man, coming out of that harvester. I love it, man. God, I love this game. All right, so now the reason that I hopped in and took over for a minute is because he would have went, he would have started right there and went right on through. So I can't, I technically can't fire him because he didn't miss anything. So sorry, guys. All right, let's go ahead and hop out. And I would say by now that our other guy is ready for a drop. So let's hop on over to field six. And we're going to run right through the corn. Anybody ever seen Children of the Corn? I appreciate you, JT. That, and see, that means a lot, man. That means a lot. Even when folks don't play the game that you're, that you're playing, and it's like not their cup of tea, just like JT said, and they're here just showing their support, that means, like, that means the world to me, man. That means a lot to me. Um, where is my harvester at? I'm worried. Yeah, he he missed some down here. Oh boy, he's in trouble. But that means that means a lot, right? That says a lot because even though this, you know, you don't play the game, you know, it may not be your cup of tea. You're still here to show your love and support, and that just that speaks volumes, JT. And I appreciate you for that, man. I really do. Dude, I love Dagger One. I love watching Dagger One, man. I love it. I love watching Dagger One. Yeah, Hero, to answer your question, the Realistic Tire Tracks mod I had in that tore my grass and fields up in FS19. <laughs> Yo, ah, oh my god, man. And you know, I thought it was going to be a cool little mod at first because, you know, I read the description of it. You know, anytime I install a mod, I will always read the description of the mod to see what it's all about, see what it does. Um, and I read the description of that mod and I was like, okay, this might be... This might be pretty cool, you know, it might be alright to have some realistic, realistic tire tracks in the game. But they were beyond realistic. Like, it tore up my grass, it tore up my fields, and I remember that episode, we were playing Hero, that time we were on the Northwest Pacific 19 map, and I think we were like around day 15 or 16 when I, when I had that mod. Um, God, that was so long ago, that was last year. That was last year when I started the channel. That was the first map I ever played on this channel. Um, but man, I got out there and I was like, okay, the mod seems all right, guys. It, it looks like it might be pretty cool. But man, when I got in those harvesters, it tore up my fields. It tore up my grass. I had no grass left in the spots that I drove, right? It was all mud. And I was like, nah, I'm not doing this. And I remember... I remember it took me a while. It did, Hero. It made a mess of everything. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. It made a mess of everything. What's up, Bear? How you doing, man? Good to see you, brother. Okay, uh, Martin. Hey, man. Yeah, dude. We'll, we'll be here. I'll be here till 8 o'clock, man. 
I'll be able to eight, man. Um, but yeah, it just it was just so bad. I mean, the mod wasn't bad. The mod did exactly what it said it was gonna do. It said realistic tire tracks, and that's what it did. I mean, when you're but it was a bit much. It was a bit much for my liking. I think it was a bit much for everybody's liking that was watching me. Um, I think I remember you saying something about it, Hero. You were one of the ones that commented on the channel about how the tire track mod was a bit much for, for the game. And and I was just like, man, yeah, it's like, it's just too much. It's just, I mean, it was bad, guys. And I remember after, you know, tragedy struck with the mod. <laughs> And I remember it took me so long to get those fields back to the way that I needed them to be because the fields would look like this, like this right here. When I was done driving through them, it would be nothing but just mud and dirt. And it was just big, huge tire tracks. And, and I took that mod out of my game that day. The day I put it in was the day I took it out. <laughs> and I never looked back. I never looked back. So, um, it did. It really did, man. Yo, man, that's good memories, though, man. I'm glad you remember that, brother. That's that's good memories. I'm going to have to go back and watch that episode now, man. I think it was like 15 or day 15 or 16, because I've always kept up with the days on, the, on my farm. So I think it's important to do that, you know? Um, okay. Our other harvester is over this way. Okay, here he is. I think we're going to have to get another trailer here. At least a trailer. I mean, a, a drop-off, not like one I can, just one I can leave over here, come hook it up when I need to. Like this right here. This is a roll-off, guys. They're awesome. I love them. I love them, man. They're awesome. All right, we got, we got to relieve this guy. I didn't fire the other guy, did I? I did not fire him. Shame on me. So the, the, the manual combine discharge is when you drive up, you gotta hit the I key on your keyboard to discharge your harvest. It's pretty cool. It's actually pretty cool. And I love how you can see the harvest go down into the harvester as it's straining out. I think that's so cool, man. I just started playing it because of your tools on LSP4. Now I've owned FS22 and I haven't played it yet. We'll see because I've been watching. I appreciate that, Greg. Hey, man, listen. If you need it, bro, uh, Greg, listen, bro. If you need it, I've got a. You know what? I'll grab it for you real quick, man. I will grab it for you real quick. Give me one second, guys. Um, I will grab my beginner's guides playlist for you, which has a total of a total of 25 videos, right? It starts you from, from how to set up your game, your settings, you know, on into deeper stuff. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to copy that and I'm going to, I'm going to pin this in the chat. Let me pin this. All right, there we go. So that is my beginner's guide playlist, uh, beginner's guide tutorials playlist. If anybody needs any kind of, um, guidance on fs22 it's there man and if i don't have a tutorial for it please don't hesitate to ask me uh, my discord's in my description i have a channel in my discord called video requests for cj where you can go and request videos anytime i pop it on a regular basis i may not say much but i pop in there um but yeah man it's it's always there if you need those tools man and that, that's for anybody so Oh, what's up? Jeffrey Gamer is up in the chat. Yo, yo, yo. If Man, I was about to say it again, man. It's habit. I was about to say, guys, if you are a member, go ahead and drop those Jeffrey Gamer logos. Hey, it will not be long, guys. We will have memberships here on the CJ Farms channel. Like I said, we hit 4,007 watch hours, man. We, I'm just waiting to hear back from YouTube, uh, which they should get back to me by tomorrow. It usually takes like 24 to 48 hours. They say a month. But it's it's never that long. It wasn't for my first channel. They took it like a day. So, um, so yeah, man. Uh, memberships will be coming up, guys. Um, super chats and merch. We're gonna do some CJ Farms merch, man. 
I'm gonna have a show that says you're fired! You are fired. I'm also gonna have one too, because every time I say you're fired, if Chris Roman's in here, he'll say you're fired. You must stand tall before the harvest. And I got to thinking about that. I was like, man, that's a good idea. Hey, Gary Evans, subscribe to the channel. Thank you, Gary. Appreciate that, man. Uh, thank you so much for subbing, brother. Really, really appreciate you subbing. Welcome to the CJ Farms family over here. Um, welcome, welcome, Gary. Hey, man, appreciate you, man. Loving the stream. Hi from Australia. Yo, man, appreciate you, dude. See, what was I just saying a while ago, guys? I said one of the greatest things about doing this is you get to talk to folks all over the world and it's just absolutely amazing. What's up, Jeffy? What's up, son? He said I called dibs on first membership. <laughs> you at work tonight, brother? Are you at work, man? Watch, he'll probably type, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, so what we want to do is we're going to release this one. Nope, don't release that. Don't release that. Release the back one. Leave it sitting there for a minute. We're going to hop out real quick. We're going to purchase another one of those right here. Yo. If you hear her screaming and crying, it's because I bit her. Um, all right, guys. A basic stream deck hero. Um, a basic stream deck like like a fifteen button. If that's if that's what you mean by basic, I think they're like 150, 160 bucks, something like that. They're not much, but hey, man, let me tell you something. You get a stream deck, bro, and your life will change forever. I'm telling you, man, it's a game changer. It is literally a game changer. I have the thirty two button and the 15 i want to get the six button i want to get that new one if nobody has seen it elgato dropped a stream deck foot pedal right and the first day that they dropped them i went to get one as soon as i heard about it they were already sold out because i was going to grab one that day they were 90 bucks yeah 32 is like 300 300 dollars um, but they were 90 bucks and I had the money. I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to get one of those because you can have pretty much everything you do on your stream deck is at the touch of your feet with three pedals, right? And I was going to go get one. I was so stoked up. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to get this stream deck for my feet. And had I had the money, I would have bought two, right? I was going to, I wanted to buy two. Um, but I had the money for one. That's what I was going to get. And Man, by golly, if they weren't sold out, man. They were sold out the first day they dropped. But that's how it works. That's how it works. Let me get my uh, let me get my trailer here, guys. That's how it works, man. They'll make, when they release a new product, they'll make so much of that product. Maybe like, they probably made like what? Maybe, maybe a million of them. And they sold out like that. Maybe if they even made that many. They might have made maybe 500 of them. Who knows? But they always sell out on the first day of those, of that, um of that new product you know what i mean all right let's go ahead and let's grab the tractor and we are going to grab this trailer right here is that yeah that's where the hitch is yeah these these roll offs are pretty cool man they're 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 really they're really cool we're gonna oh too sharp cj too sharp i usually don't suck that bad at backing up <clears throat> but i cannot get my bearings together today
There we go. Let's pull it up. I love how the engine speeds up when you when you hook it and pull it up on the trailer. I love that, man. I, that's that's realism, man. I love it. <clears throat> I should play my file for you guys sometimes when it's got reshade in it. Because these are just vanilla graphics, guys. But you should see my reshaded file. Oh, my gosh. It would it would blow your mind. I'm telling you, man. Even with a 1660 Super GeForce GTX graphics card, the reshade on this game looks amazing. I shared some pictures um, of it in the Discord, I believe. Hey, Robert Zachary Prim, subscribe to the channel. Thank you, uh, Robert. Appreciate that, man. Really, really appreciate that, bro. Thank you so much. Guys, if you're getting a little bit of lag, I'm sorry. I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe I shouldn't do the reshade file. <laughs> God, I kill me. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of lag there. Just a little. All right, let's go ahead and grab this harvester. We're going to get him... We're going to relieve him. Oh, dude. Did you really miss that, man? Did you really miss that? You're fired. You are fired. You must stand tall before the harvest. <laughs> I'm going to put that on a shirt, man. Um, I'm going to have one that says, You're fired. Now you must stand tall. Or I might say, You're fired. Stand tall before the harvest. Because I got that idea from Chris. Roman and he says that every time I fire somebody on my on my video oh the new PC um, it's just a matter of the wife and I having time to call uh, either Best Buy or I buy gaming uh, to get a finance that's all I got to do um, it's just find the time to do it you know she works a lot I work a lot um, we, we barely get to see each other so all I got to do is we just got to take time to sit down and call the number and and get a finance i'm pretty sure her i don't know about my credit but i know her credit's good enough to get a finance so we're gonna have to even this out too we got to fix his choppy work look at me i ain't got no room to talk look at my choppy work look <laughs> I cut halfway into the stocks. Let's do it, baby. Hey, babe. Gonna get us another screenshot here, guys. We're gonna get a good one this time. Let me hop out. Let me jump into flight mode real quick. That's a good one right there. Yeah, that's a good shot right there, man. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Look at how beautiful that corn looks, man. Let's go on back a little bit. I'm going to get me a better shot. I'm going to go a little lower. I love flight moment. I love the power tools. Y'all yeah, look so good. I'll be sharing these on my Instagram too, guys. So be on the lookout for that. All right, so we can go ahead and drop. Well, you know what? I think our other harvester might have a full tank by now, you think? And then we'll come back, we'll pick that one up, we'll drop this one off, and uh, working that B shift, yeah man. Yeah, he's got a, he's got a full grain tank, is he done? Okay, no he's not done. This is the dude that missed some, I just seen the stocks right down there where he missed some.
Oh, I can't wait either, bro. I'm because I'm, I'm getting either the 3080 or 3090. I would be satisfied with the 3070. I don't care. 3070 to a 3090. I don't care. 36. I'd be okay with the 3060. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely going to try to get the 3080 or the 3090 with the i9 12 uh, and the 128 gigabytes of RAM with the with the uh, with the water coolant in it. Um, because I know that um, Jeffrey says that his PC stays at like 72 Celsius. God, see that right there when your PC's cool like that, that's what allows it to run so smooth. And when you've got a good processor like an i9-12, your editing, your editing is so great. Your exporting, you know, your editing is so much smoother. It just makes everything so much better. It makes it a different kind of world for you when it comes to gaming. Uh, having a beast of a PC like that. Let's go ahead and grab these real quick. All right, spray it out there, man. Spray it out. Wasn't much, but... All right, we're going to go ahead and get him back on this side. All right, let's go. We got to hurry up and get this trailer. We're going to take this trailer. Oh man, I didn't get that little bit right there. Alright, let's go get let's go get the other trailer and we're gonna we're gonna dump it into the silo and then we'll bring it back to the guy in case he needs a refill. Or I mean a drop. That's what's cool about these roll-offs, man. You can buy, you can buy however many roll-off tanks you want, right? The trailers, the the tanks themselves, and you could set them around the farm, and you know, just go grab them when you need them. You know, when they fill up. That's what would be cool about farm sim, is if when you drop a tank off, the AI would track it automatically, and they would just come over to where the tank is, drop it in there, and then go back to work. That would be so cool. Are you, Paul? Yeah, man. <clears throat> well, if you ever want somebody to take that PC off your hands, man, and you want to sell it, let me know, brother. I'm, I'm being for real. I know you probably won't, won't ever sell it, but if you, like, if you ever do, if you ever do, man, you know, make me an offer, bro. Make me an offer. Or I guess I should make you an offer, right? I don't know why I'm saying that. I bet I bet it did. I bet, and I'm sure that was rough, man. I'm sure that was rough. And, and like I said, man, you probably won't ever sell it. But if you do, man, if you ever decide to sell it, man, please keep me in mind. Please, even if I've already got my other PC, I would still be interested in buying another one. You know what I mean? I mean, look at DJ Goham. He's got like four or five setups, man. You know, so. And my plan is eventually my laptop that I have, I want to set it up somewhere in a room by itself where I can stand up and talk to the audience while I'm doing like, you know, mod reviews and stuff like that on CG forums. Um, and even some new videos on, you know, criminal justice. There's a lot of new stuff coming, guys. I've got a lot of new great ideas. And it's, it's all going to be coming to these channels very, very soon. So... I hear you, Paul. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I knew you wouldn't. But if you ever decide to, man, please keep me in mind. But I, yeah, I figured. I figured. I figured I'd just push at you a little bit, man. <laughs> oh, man. I love you, man. I ain't got nothing but love for you, Paul. <laughs> hey, man. I tell you, though, man. I can't imagine how hard it was to sell that, bro. That. Man, that would have killed me, dude. That would have just... Man, I would have been devastated. You know what I mean? Not devastated, but... Like, knowing that, you know, you work hard for it. And then... You know, you got to get rid of it. You know? Alright, let's see how much corn we got... Man, get out of the silo, bro. Slow down, CJ. Man, my dude is running around like he's smoking crack. 
We got almost 100,000 liters of corn already, guys. Almost 100,000 already. Right at 89,999. 89,999 liters of corn. We're literally one liter short of having 90,000 liters. <laughs> that is funny. That's funny right there. I don't care who you are. All right, I have no idea where I'm going here. I guess I'm supposed to be going back out this way. Yeah, yeah, this is the right way. I love that feature right there where you can look, get up real close to the steering wheel. I love that feature. That would be for like old people, right? The old people that play that play farm sim, if there is any. The old people that sit up on the steering wheel in their car, they'd be like this in the tractor, right? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, exactly, Drake. Exactly. Exactly, man. <laughs> 5,000. Woo! Yeah, man. Yeah, and you know, them, nine, them 970s aren't bad, man. They're not bad at all. People, people, I, I, I've heard people complain about the 970s, but I'm just like, it can't be that bad. It, because... If it's running their GTA, it's running their LSPFR. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I know my I know the 1060 Ti is higher than a 970, but still, that the graphics card that I have now is is a bit of an old graphics card, right? It's a 1060 Ti. Even my 1660 Super, it's a bit of an old graphics card. It comes from the thousand series, right? But it still does what I need to do. It still does what I need to do, man. Every single time. Which is, guys, I'm, I'm going to try to do this cool. I'll probably, I'll probably mess it up, but I'm going to try to do this really cool. Look at that, man. These AIs are always missing stuff, man. For reals. Ow. You bump it? Bump it for daddy. Come on. Look, everybody's watching you. Here, bump it. Can I have a kiss? What about a hug? Can I have a big hug? I like that showed you. Uh, no, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, I'm good. What is it? Macaroons and donuts. Macaroons. Where's Chastity? All right. No, I'm good. I love y'all. Love you, boo. <laughs> my daughter Chloe said, "Stop saying." <laughs> I got my kids saying it, man. I got my kids saying it. Oh, did he really? Yo, how cool was that, man? How cool was that? I'm going to try to get this just right. Right under that pipe. I, I, I think I got it. All right, let me grab him because he's going to mess this all up. Let me get him out of that. I got I gotta pick up his slack here. I really enjoy farm sim, man, I really do. And I gotta get my shirt off. I mean not I'm sorry guys, not my shirt. <laughs> my my jacket. Do 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 Oh man, let me get my uh CJ sport that Nike sang. There we go. That's much better. That's much better. Much better. I'm I'm sure he would, Drake. I'm sure he would. I'm sure he would. Alright, so let's back up here a little bit. Let's pipe in. And we're gonna have to get this um We're gonna have to get this uh spot over here. They only missed a few spots. It's not too bad. Spray it on the field. Fertilize the field, man. Fertilize the 
For some of you that may or may not know, when you're harvesting corn or any kind of crop on your field and that harvester is spraying that stuff out the back, not the swath, but like the loose straw and corn itself, that's actually, that actually fertilizes the field. That's what that does. The corn stalks, like these corn stalks you see down here, what the farmers actually do with that is they bring those mulchers in, right? And they chop that stuff up and they grind it into hardly nothing and they bring it back to the field and they spread it and then they lime it they plow it they cultivate it fertilize it and they plant that's what those stalks are for man that's what that's they they fertilize the field i wish they had that feature on here where you could do that that would be so so cool man that would be so cool all right let's go ahead and am i gonna oh i'm not gonna make it around my tractor i gotta move him first There we go. All right, I'm, I'm gonna run this row here. And we're gonna turn it around, baby. Over just a tad, there you go. And there we go. All right, let him, let him go ahead and book it on out of here. Now what we can do is we can drop this trailer and go back and grab our other one. Well, let's go ahead and drop this. I'm, I'm going to detach it as I'm driving. Watch this. I'm going to get going pretty good here before I do it. Come on, Fennett. Speed up, baby. F speed up, Fennett. Come on. We know, we know you got more than that. <laughs> I don't know why I love doing that. That's That's so funny to me. I don't know why. All right, so we got. Oh, is he? Wait, is he? Is he done? Is he done over here? Is he? Is he done? Oh, he's done, man. All right, well we can go ahead and move him on over to field five. Um. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of town here. I'm on the wrong side of town. He did miss four stalks right there. He missed four stalks. That's money, man. That's four stalks of corn. That's that's four ears of corn. Man, you know what we should do? You know what I might do? That that that. Well, we're not gonna make no money from it. The only thing if we could benefit from forage harvesting, by a show of hands, how many people in here has actually seen forage harvesting take place on FS22? After spending so much, I'm thinking of if I fry this thing, I'll be screwed. Man, I'm telling you, YouTube is the perfect place for vids like that, right? It's the perfect place for vids like that, man. You can find anything through Google and YouTube, man. All right, let's go ahead. We got 76% corn in this. Uh, and it looks like he missed about seven stocks down here. So let's go ahead and... Let's, uh, I don't know why I cut it off. Keep it running. Let's go ahead and fold that up. We're gonna pipe out. Oh, you know what, what am I doing? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What am I doing? I need to go ahead and finish getting this first. He's not even full. He was only like almost 80% full. Come on. Come on. All right, let's get it. Let's get it, baby. One of the things I love about FS22 is that they have cab suspension enabled in the menu. So when you're riding, you can see yourself kind of bouncing up and down when you hit bumps. Right? So it's pretty cool, man, how they 
implemented that into the game itself. Oh man, that was a hard crash right there. Let's see what which way is gonna be best to go. Back and forth or well, it's longer that way, so This is the parts where the AI is usually mess up the most when there's trees in the way. Normally when there's not trees in the way and rocks and stuff, they'll they'll usually get it pretty good, but there's still times they still miss. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let him jump on that. And we're gonna go this way. And let's take this trigger down to him because he is definitely gonna need this in just a few minutes. And we're gonna go back and check on the other harvester to see if maybe he's ready for the next field. He, he should be, he should be either, hey, he's got a full grain tank, he's waiting on me. Um, he should be either done or pretty close to it. Maybe we should buy another harvester. <laughs> Just because. Hey, what's up? That's my buddy Lauren Rosiger right there. What's up, Lauren? What's up, son? I don't think I've ever said that to you, Lauren. Oh, he's got a full tank. Okay. I thought I was talking about the other harvester. I think the other harvester's got a full tank, too. Get that front filled up right there. There we go. Ease that OCD, man. I can feel it easing up. Okay, it's getting a little high for my liking. Let me go to the middle. <laughs> we are full, man. We are full. Let's go ahead and drop it off. We're going to have a lot of corn to take off, man. And I might just save this farm strictly for live streaming for you guys. Um, because once I hear back from YouTube, guys... Um, I probably will start live streaming over here at least twice a week. Um, we're pretty close to 2K right now. We just hit 1,700 subs on the channel two days ago. So we're getting pretty close to 2K, guys. We're getting really, really close to 2K. Um, so I I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked. And I'm, I'm extremely blessed, man. I'm extremely blessed, uh, uh, you know, by God. God has been really good to me, man. Um... With the main channel and with the second channel, I'm extremely blessed. And I have no one, you know, I have no one to thank for it but you guys, of course. And then first and foremost, you know, the man upstairs, man. If it wasn't for him, none of this, none of this would be possible. So, I always like to give a big shout out to God, man, because he's the reason I am who I am and where I am and, and why, I'm, why I'm here, you know. And, you know, he sent you guys here. He sent you guys here, no doubt about it, man. I'm a firm believer in in uh, everything happening for a reason, man. I'm a firm believer in that. And, uh, oh, man, I'm telling you, man, we'll catch some of the biggest catfish, man. I want to catch me an alligator gar. I ain't seen one of those in a decade, man. It's been ages since I've seen a gar, man. Yo, man, if you guys ever want to see a creepy-looking, scary, like, fish forward slash alligator an alligator guard looks like a mix between a fish a platypus and a, and a baby alligator it's so weird the way that thing is built oh matthew i love tacos man i love tacos dude oh has it has it drake Oh, Blake. Hey, I've made that mistake too, man. I've made that mistake too where... Um, I think I was actually using a front loader one time. Uh, and I was picking up bells, right? It was on Erlengar on FS19. And my tractor kept falling forward on me. I was like, why the heck is this, is this tractor falling forward on me? Like, I literally had a front loader with a bell spike picking up bells. And my tractor, every time I stopped, it would just tip forward, tip forward, tip forward. And I was like, what in the world is going on? And somebody in my in my, in my my comment section finally told me, said, hey, man, throw a weight on it. 
And I was like, God, I should have had a V8. Like, why didn't I think of that? You know what I mean? But I threw a weight on it, and it worked out perfectly, man. But I've made that mistake too, dude. I've made that mistake too. I hear you, man. All right, let's go ahead and... We're just gonna we're just gonna swing it around this way like this. There we go. We can go ahead and open that back up. It's not gonna it's not gonna touch the can. So I want to be ready to go when it's time to go. Is it already seven thirty six for real, man? Is it really already seven thirty six? Holy cow! Drake, if you don't mind me asking, man, how 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 young are you, bro? I don't say how old are you because it sounds rude. I always ask people how young are you. You're you're what like? I don't want to guess. I don't want to guess because I'm probably gonna be way off. And you know you don't have to answer, brother. You never have to answer that, dude. That's just I'm just curious, man. Yeah, right, Paul? I couldn't imagine that either, bro. I could not imagine, um, like, going through that. Man, that's, that's got to be devastating. But Drake is strong. Drake is a strong guy. And, you know, I can guess. I'm going to guess 17. I'm going to guess 17, maybe 18. My, first, my Now, I will tell you this. My first guess was in your early 20s, like 21, 22. But I'm going to stick with, with 18. 18 is my final answer. I'm probably way off. I'm probably going to feel completely... You say 16, Matthew? Everybody in the chat want to take, a, wanna take a, a guess at Drake's age? <laughs> See you go I said 18. My first guess was like early 20s, but I, I I guessed 18. He said like 50, huh, Drake or so? Am I? Am I really? You're about to be 19, Blake, are you? Lauren, you're what? 22? I know you're like 21, 22. Paul guessed 45 or 50. I'm so anxious. I'm like staring at my chat. I'm so anxious to see what he says. <laughs> He's going to make me wait, isn't he? <laughs> All right, let's, let's, let's whip her on around here. Yeah, you're 22. Yeah, because you just... You just turned 22 not too long ago, right? You're still young, Lauren. I remember when I was 22. Man, I remember when I was 22. Boy, I was a... Well, I don't want to say alive. <laughs> Plus, I'm married. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was a bit of a... You know, because back in the day, I was more, I was more clean cut. You know, and, and we're always like that in our younger age. You know, we stay clean cut. All right, what's what is it? What is it, bro? Look, Drake's building the anticipation, and he said, "I'm gonna be totally honest with y'all." You think so? He might be, Paul. He might be. Come on, Drake, quit building the anticipation, man. What's your age, dude? All right, so we're going to leave that one here and head over to our other one. Ah, that's a good point, Paul. He really does, yeah. So he might be close to our age because I'm 44. 
I'll be 45 this year. That's that's a good point, Paul. Good looking out, man. Good looking out, brother. That was a good looking out, man. <laughs> I would have never, because we've talked about music in here so many times and stuff like that, movies. But you're right, Paul. That is a very good point. Look, he's going to build the anticipation now. I, I just didn't even ask. To, <laughs> Paul said 93. Will you, Matthew, be 44 this year? What am I doing over here? Paul said 93. What if he was? What if Drake was legit 93 years old? <laughs> you guys crack me up, man. You guys crack me up. I got to remember I'm on field two and field five. Look, it shows my chair on the map. How cool is that? He said, okay, okay, here it is. Yeah, you're still young, Lauren. You, you still young. You got so much life ahead of you, girl. He said, I'm really only a 12-year-old kid. I've been lying for years. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and... Yo, did my dude already sweep this field too? Did he really? He did. Yo, man, he's done with this field. Well, where did he go? That's the question. Yo, man, he got this field done so fast. Where We've been ready. We've been ready, Drake, for a little bit now. <laughs> Yo, he's building it, man. I love it. He's building it. That's so funny, man. Yeah, you know though, Lauren, when you when you find the love of your life, and one day you will, he said, "Don't tell nobody." <laughs> In a live chat, he said, "Don't tell nobody." <laughs> oh man, that's funny, dude. What is it, bro? What's your age, man? Yo, Drake's really building it up, isn't he? I still owe Drake a big one too, man. He's been getting me lately with those Reese Cups. Y'all remember when I did the vlog last year? And I got Drake back and I was eating the Reese Cups at the end of my vlog? Like, I did that vlog just to have Reese Cups. He said, I'm about to smash my head in the keyboard. I can't take it. Ah! <laughs> Y'all remember when I did that vlog? 11? No, you're not. You were not 11, bro. There's no way you're 11. No, you're not. I'm going to be blown away if you are 11 years old. If you're 11 years old, then you have watched so many movies and listened to so much music in the past 11 years of your life, man. <laughs> you remember that? Because I, I had the Reese Cup cookies. And I had the Reese Cups, right? And Lauren said, I'm 10. I'm 13. <laughs> We're all barely legal. <laughs> but man, at the end of that vlog, man, I was chewing those things. And I was in the mic on purpose going, mm, you got one coming, Drake. You got one coming, dude. I'm, I'm going to get you back. Because he's been teasing me those Reese's, man. And, and I always get him when you least expect it. It's all in fun, though. Drake knows that. It's all in fun, man. And that's the cool part about it, man. That's the cool part about, uh, you know, having you guys on here is we can all goof off, man, have a good time and be friends and just just be cool with each other. You know what I mean? Like, I love it, man. I love this community. He said, if, I, if, if he's 11, I'm getting my belt out and coming to Texas tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, man. Come on, Drake. You're killing us, man. You're killing us. I'm going to... I, 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 I'm going to say he's probably around our age, too. But I guessed 18, so that was my final answer. I don't want to go back on my answer. But I, I do agree with what Paul said. The fact that... That he knows music the way we do. The movies that we do. Man, me too, man. I could go for a Reese Cup right now. I'm, I'm, I'm serious, man. 
I can go for one. Man, nothing melts in your mouth like a Reese. Nothing. Nothing. Not even M&M's. You know, an m and M slogan is, uh, it melts in your mouth, not in your hands. But nothing comes close to a Reese cup melting in your mouth, man. Lauren guessed 35 for Drake. We're going to be here for the next two hours from Drake building anticipation. Yeah, let us know, man. Let us know. We're going to be wrapping up streaming in about 15 minutes, guys. He said... Look at him. Look at him. I do too, Lauren. Oh, I love honey buns with a good glass of milk with ice in it. Oh, I love it. Look, we're all... Everybody's just... Nobody's even watching the game right now. Everybody's watching the chat. <laughs> Yo, the farming's cool, right, Paul? It's awesome, man. Have you got FS22 yet, Paul? Have you got it yet? Man, dude, you would not regret it, man. You would not regret it, bro. I promise. I'm telling you, man. Is she? Are you 50, bro? Are you really? Are you really 50, Drake? No way. No way, dude. No wonder you know music so well, man. No wonder. Wow. No kidding, man. That's awesome, dude. 50 years old. That is awesome that... That there is a 50... A guy at the age of 50 watching my videos. I didn't want to say 50 years old. I don't like saying old. It just sounds rude. Um, but that's awesome that I got someone at the age of 50 watching my vids. Drake, big shout out to you, man. Big shout out to you, dude. <laughs> and Drake's been around the channel for, I think, pretty much as long as you have, Paul. JT said, let's hear it for the old guys. <laughs> oh, man. 50 years young. That's right, man. That's right, dude. That's right. Paul was right. He said 50. He said 50. Yo, I would have never. I said 18. Yo, I was way. I knew I'd be way off. I knew I would. <laughs> I was so far off, man, from, from the truth. I was. Wow, man. That's crazy, bro. I think it blows my mind because... You know, like I was talking about earlier, a majority of my audience is from the ages of 18 to 35. And Drake, you fall in that 2%. Like, le legit, in my analytics, 2% of my audience is from the ages of 40 to 50 years old. You fall in that 2%. And that I just think that's amazing, man. So every time I look at those analytics and see that 2%, I'm like, Drake's, that's Drake right there. That's Drake. Yeah, something like that, because, I mean, I mean, think about it, man. I'm, I'm 44, so, yeah, in, in six years, I'll be, I'll be 50. Yeah, and that's what Paul said, too, JT. He said, you know, he does know a lot about the music and the movies that we talked about, and that kind of rung a bell. I was like, ah, that's, that was a good point. That was a good point that Paul made, so, yeah. That's very true, man. Man, it's it's pretty awesome out. Are you 5 Gen? Are you? Oh, you're part of that 2% too, man. Nice. Nice. It's it, it's pretty awesome, man, to see those analytics, right? To look at those analytics and then to actually see those people of those ages come into your chat and to see how accurate it is. Because if you think about the 2% is the two percent of your entire um, of, of the entire uh, crowd that you have watching your YouTube channel, right? That's not two percent of your subscribers. That's just two percent of the entire YouTube uh, folks that are out there. So that two percent can still be considering that it can still be a huge number um, for those people around that age. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I am. Well, you know, I tell you, JT, my wife keeps me young, man. My wife keeps me young. Why do I keep shutting that off? 
My wife is, and a lot of you may or may not know this, but my wife is 12 years younger than me. Yeah, she's, 12, she's 32. But she keeps me young, man. She keeps me young. I never thought in my life, like I've never ever really been with a much younger woman than me like that or a much older woman than me. Um, the oldest I've ever been with was a woman that was like three years older than me and then the youngest was like a woman that was like two years younger than me, right? She was legal. She was legal, just for the record. <laughs> but I never thought in a million years I would ever be with someone, let alone be married to a woman that's 12 years younger than me. It is a blessing, JT. It is a blessing to have a wife that's 12 years younger than me that keeps me, like, she keeps me young. She keeps my heart ticking, man. That was her right there. She went out the door. She keeps my heart ticking. I'm telling you, man, when you don't think your heart can tick anymore, marry a woman 12 years younger than you. She'll keep that heart ticking <laughs> in more ways than one. <laughs> Oh my God, I remember that saying, Paul. <laughs> he said corny. <laughs> Does everybody remember the game that you, everybody would everybody would get in a circle, right? And you would all put your, I'll go to the kids' camera so you guys can see. And everybody put their fist up like this, right? And you would go bubble gum, bubble gum in a dish. How many pieces do you wish, right? You take your hand out. You go bubble gum, bubble gum in a dish, right? And then you go around until the last person with, with their hand up was the one that won the game. So I, th I always thought that game was pretty cool, man. And then we had uh, Duck, Duck, Goose. Does everybody remember Duck, Duck, Goose? He said legal beagle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I, I'm telling you, man. Four and I'm 23. She keeps me nice. Oh, my God, Paul. No, she's not. He said she keeps me nice and boring. <laughs> 74. Freeze tag. Yes, Matthew. I remember freeze tag. You would get tagged and you would have to just stand still until someone else tagged you, right? Yeah, man. Duck, duck, goose. Bubble gum in a dish, man. Uh, rock, paper, scissors. Oh my God, dude. Like, I, I just wish that the generation of kids these days knew how good we had it back then. Knew, I mean, not really how good we had it, because trust me, we had a rough, uh, not a rough upbringing, but a poor upbringing, right? Like we were all dirt poor growing up in here. Everybody in this chat coming up was dirt poor, right? Our parents worked hard. They lived paycheck to paycheck to make ends meet. But you better believe at the end of the day, even in a household where I lived, where I had seven brothers and four sisters, you better believe at the end of the day, we had clothes on our back, we had a bed to sleep in, and we had three meals a day and a hot shower. We had it, man. I do, red light, green light. Yeah, man, I fell so many times playing that game. <laughs> Fall forward. He said, she wouldn't keep me young. She'd keep me bedridden. Hey, it, I'm telling you, Drake, you hit the nail on the head, bro. It is a lot like that. I'm telling you. We did, JT. We did. We we made up games. We did make believe. Back then, you know what we did to, to, to play cops and robbers? What we did for guns when we didn't have any plastic guns? Man, we used sticks. We'd go out in the woods and break a branch off the, off the tree and find the one that 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 had the little hand on the bottom. We flip it upside down and we use it as a rifle or a shotgun or sniper or whatever. That's what we did, man. These kids today have no idea what it's like to really live in good upbringing times. You know what I mean? Kids these days, man, we live in a in a I guess you could say how was it Jeffrey said it? A trophy appreciation type generation, right? So in these days, yeah, sticks, man, sticks, dude. So in this day and age, right, if if you're in a race, you you don't just win first place anymore, right? 
you had there has to be a second place, a third place, a fourth place, because if not, somebody's gonna get offended. Back in our day, you didn't get a you didn't get a medal or a trophy for just showing up. You won first place or you didn't win at all, and you went home proud of what you did. No matter if, yeah, Red Rover, Red Rover, send CJ on over. I remember you lock your hands. Man, I, I clotheslined so many people doing that. <laughs> oh, my God. It brings back so many memories, man. God. I, lo I could sit and just, you know what? Jeffrey gave me a good idea the other day. We're about to wrap up streaming in a few minutes, guys. Jeffrey gave me a good idea the other day. I think I'm going to do it um, maybe tomorrow night or the next night. But I'm just going to have a, uh, a sit-down live stream and just have a chat with you guys where we can come in. There's no gaming going on. Nothing else is happening. Yes, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. I was way off again. I was way off. Participation trophy. That is exactly it. Yes. And that was it. Bye, Felicia. That was it. But you know what? Back then... No matter if we won first or if we won seventh, we went home proud of what we did, right? Because what was it the coach always told us? It doesn't matter what place you come in as long as you give it your best. That's what the coach always told us. What teachers always told us? Our parents told us that. They drilled that into us, man. If kids just only knew these days, I mean, Look at our generation, guys. Look at how royally messed up it is. Look at the daytime. The, like, the shooting's taking place in broad daylight. You know, we didn't worry about that stuff back then. Back then, man, you could go to bed, leave your doors unlocked, man, leave them open, your windows up. You could walk down the street at 3 o'clock in the morning and not worry about nothing. Not worry about nothing. It humbles me just thinking about it, man. Drink out of the water hose and survive. <laughs> Yes, man, and that water was the best in the summertime, and it was always so cold. Unless, unless you just walked outside in 95 degree weather and you turn the hose on and the water's hot coming out. When you turn that hose on, you want to let it run for a minute, right? Because you didn't want to get that hot water in your mouth. But man, when it got cold, it got cold. It got cold. You going to bed, baby? Yeah. All right. I love you. Good night, Sang. Good night, Sang. Bump it. Blow it up. Love you, baby. Love you. Going to bed? Are you Jazzy going to bed, too? Yeah. All right. Bye, Sang. See you, Sang. <laughs> See you, cutie pie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, my, that's one of my middle kids right there. That is one of my middle girls, man. Let's see. What am I doing here? I don't even... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to get on this field. We're going to go ahead and start cleaning up the equipment here. Let's go ahead and get started on this field, though. I'm going to hop out. But what I was saying is, is um, yeah, glue to the iPad. Won't go outside. It's scary to let them just go outside. They may get... Yeah, man. You know what the biggest thing is these days with, with worrying about your kids being outside is all the sex trafficking that's taking place, right? It's real. It's real, man. The movies we see on it, it's real. Yes, Lauren, Liddy Titty. <laughs> Liddy Titty. I'm telling you, look, guys, Jeffrey gave me a really good idea, right? And I might go ahead and do it tomorrow night or the next night, but I want all you guys that are in here tonight, if you can be there tomorrow night, please be there. If not, I completely understand. You've got other things to do. You might have work to go to or what it might, whatever it might be. Tomorrow night, we'll be live on the main channel. And I'm just going to do a sit-down chat. I'm just going to do a sit-down and kind of just just chat with you guys. We haven't done that in so long. And I can't tell you the last time I had a, a Q&A. And we need to do that. So tomorrow night, we're going to do that. Tomorrow night, tomorrow night, uh, same time, different place, same guy. And we're going to have these conversations. We're going to talk about old times. We're going to talk about music. We're going to talk about movies. We're going to talk about The Breakfast Club tomorrow. We're going to talk about Footloose. Right? We're going to talk about Footloose. Footloose, man. Kevin Bacon, Footloose. We're going to talk about Hollow Man. <laughs> we're going to talk about the color 
Purple. I loved that movie. The Color Purple was awesome. God, that was one of the best movies I ever seen. The Color Purple. And does anybody in the chat remember the movie Roots? Oh my God, that is a classic, man. Yo, you know what? I'm gonna save all this for tomorrow night, guys. Um, yeah, kick off your Sunday shoes. Yeah, I'm telling you, we're gonna save all this for tomorrow night, guys. Let me relieve my worker here, and he's got a full tank again already. Um, let's go ahead and shut down the 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 tractors here, our equipment. All right, guys, I want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight. Let me go ahead and do a save while I'm thinking about it. And let's switch the scenes back over here just real quick before I end the stream. Um, I want to thank everybody for being here tonight. Thank you guys for hanging out and talking to me. Um, the, the talk, the last, the last hour here has been just the best part of the stream. Um, I, 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 there's one thing I love doing is I love to sit and reminisce on good memories, right? You know, uh, yes, man, Rocky, uh, not Rocky Balboa, well, that, that's who he played, Sylvester Stallone, over the top, he was an arm wrestler, man, he was a professional arm wrestler, yes, man, over the top, baby, he drove that big rig, like that big rig that had like flames on it or something, but man, he drove a big rig in that movie, over the top, over the top, we're gonna talk about over the top. When I turn my hat around, it's like a switch that goes off. That's right. That's right. That's right. Guys, tomorrow night, uh, I'll be live on the Criminal Justice channel, my main channel, 6 o'clock Central Standard Time, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Bring your popcorn. Bring your drink. Bring your movies. Bring your music. And bring your memories, first and foremost, guys. Tomorrow night, we're going to have a chat. We're going to have a QA. and a If you guys want to ask me stuff, we can do that. Um... I'll ask you guys questions, and we'll just talk about some good stuff, man. We'll just talk about some good stuff. You know, some good old memories, man. Yeah, get in here. You've been ducking me for years. Yeah, man. Yes. Yes, yes, man. I'm telling you, man. Uh, some of the best memories I have is as a child um, and, and, and growing up in my teen years, you know, um, and, you know, I got some trouble. I got into some trouble a couple of times uh, with the police. I might bring that up tomorrow night. I might bring that up tomorrow night. We might talk about that tomorrow night. Not tonight, but we might talk about it tomorrow night. Uh, definitely. Let me let me swing my stream lives over here so I can look up at you guys. Uh, we might talk about that tomorrow night, guys. See how much better it is when my stream lives is on my main monitor? I need to switch my monitors around and put my game on that side, even though it would be terribly awkward for me. But when I look this way, my camera's here, right? And it's directly in front of me. And I, you know what? Tomorrow night when I stream, we're going to do it just like this. We're going to do it just like this. And I'll be on full cam anyway. So, um, guys and girls, thank you all again for showing the love on CJ Farms. Man, we're at 1,720 subscribers. Man, I went up 20 subs since two days ago. Um, it's great, man. It's great. Both channels are growing. Um, I feel good about it. I feel really positive about it. And I have, you know, no one to thank but you guys and the man above, man. Uh, God gets gets all the credit for the things because I know where all the good things come from in my life. Tomorrow night, ladies and gentlemen, on the Criminal Justice Channel, we will have a Q&A that we have not had in a long time. A much-needed chat between Criminal Justice and his awesome and loyal and amazing and beautiful people. Uh, my subscribers, man, you guys are absolutely amazing. I could not do this without you. And um, here is to 100K, guys, in 2022. Yeah, JT, later, sang. Keep it gangster, baby. Keep it gangster. That's right, man. Um, but here is to 100K subs in 2022, guys. I'm predicting that at the end of this year, I will be either right at or very close to. 100k now that what does that mean that means i will have to earn 74,000 subscribers in 2022 alone to hit 100k i think we can do it guys i believe we can do it i know we can do it i know we can do it so guys with that being said love y'all so much have an amazing night thank you guys for doing the cj forums tonight be sure to check out those links below to help 
uh, support the channel and get your hands on some amazing Giants software. They got games down there, DLCs, even modding tutorials for FS22 directly from Giants. Big, big shout out to Giants Software, who I am now partnering with. Um, thank you guys again, Giants, for giving me this amazing opportunity for being partnered with you. Uh, um, I, I could not be any more uh, thankful, grateful, and happy right now. Um, so, guys, all my subscribers out there, Paul G, Lauren Rosger, Blake, uh, JT came up in the house, um, Matthew Coleman, uh, Drake Sullivan hanging out tonight with us, man. Uh, and JT hung out with us, man. JT hung out with us tonight. That was cool. Five Gen Farms up in the house. We had a we had a YouTuber come through with 108,000 subscribers. Uh, who was that? Pharma, Karma. Who was that? Karma. What was what was their name? Karma Gen. What was it? Karma. G uh, they said they did Reddit videos. Uh, anyway, guys, tomorrow night on the Criminal Justice Channel, let's have a chat. Let's sit down and talk, and let's just. Love each other, man. Most and foremost, let's just love each other. And let's have a good time tomorrow night and bring up some old memories and some good memories. And let's talk, let's laugh, and let's cry. Love you guys so much. Until next time, stay safe, stay awesome, and be humble. I will see you all in the next video. What's up, pal? Good to see you, man. You're coming to the end of the stream. Peace.